Hey Crossroads Church, this is Pastor Marcus and Natalie, and I just want to say thank you for choosing to partner with us here at Crossroads Church this past year. Uh, with your support, man, 2021 was another successful year. We were able to serve our community in various ways throughout the year. Let me just give you a few highlights from this past year. First of all, Pastor Joel and Emily, you know, they've been our teaching pastors for the last couple of years, but we just... Uh, been using them year after year, but they committed to be a part of the ministry for another another year And we had some amazing teaching uh, Series throughout this year specifically the circle perspective and this last one that he did on big dreams and other Disasters to just name two of them and we were also blessed by hiring um, our new worship pastor Jeremiah and Hillary uh, Roby from Montana man that young couple they love Jesus and they're an inspiration to 99 He's a writer. He's a producer and he's already put out a couple of different songs that we are already singing here at Crossroads Church. And we're looking forward for another great year with he and his family. We also had several, several successful outreaches to Seguin, like our Easter and candlelight services, where man, several families came to Christ as a re result of your efforts. Thank you for all the volunteers that took, took place in that. Had several people in our community drop by and just say thank you for being a blessing to our city. So we'll be doing that again this year as well. Uh, in other countries as well, not only here in the local church or here in Seguin, but Guatemala, for instance, we supported our missionary friends Chad and Jamie Badger as they were, um, uh, man, they were going through some very hard times during the, the, the COVID situation. They had some difficult sufferings in their regions, and you guys sent several thousand dollars out there to support that ministry as well. And then this past Christmas, uh, our goal was to uh, raise about $40,000 for our Christmas offering, and you guys were able to raise over twenty three thousand dollars and we appreciate that we were able to con connect and support with several young kids in Haiti to help them with their educational efforts as well as over 47 young people who are part of the local women's shelter here in our community and all of these kids all of these students they deserve a chance to get a proper education while they are in a safe and protected environment so there are so many other things that we could do let's not forget about you know the celebrate recovery program that just began we just launched and supporting those struggling with habits and hang-ups and hurts all we've heard is nothing but positive reports from those involved specifically one of my own daughters my oldest daughter who is currently going through uh, that program and making progress each and every day so I just want to say personally thank you Jeremy Wallace for leading the way in that effort and I could go on for several other minutes uh, sharing with you story after story of all the life-changing moments that took place in our community in 2021. I'm sure you'll hear more about that uh, this next year as well. But what about um, things like the gathering place? Man, your generosity, you guys gave so much towards that, uh, helped us upgrade several areas in our ministry. That 60 by 60 uh, gathering place that's gonna be used for outreaches in our community, along with gatherings for Crossroads families. We've upgraded our parking lot, fresh blacktop. We've upgraded our curriculum and student ministry and children's ministry. We've upgraded our CC Live experience with new equipment and a new platform that's gonna make our live experiences very personal. We hired a professional media director with Carrie Kelly and uh, his wife Patty, who are soon, actually in 2022, you'll you'll hear about this, but they're going to become our new family ministry directors in 2022. But we also upgraded our children's ministry with new equipment, added a storage building in the back uh, in order to have room for seasonal items so we can serve our church. I could go on and on, but there's one story that I have to share, and it's not a stat, it's a personal uh, story. My wife and I have been praying for my oldest daughter for the past 15 years for her freedom from hurts and habits and, and hang-ups and what have you. Was, these things were developed by choices that she made herself. But when we said yes to Celebrate Recovery and to bring that program here, little did we know that it would be through that ministry that we would be able to have our oldest daughter back in a much better place than ever before. Actually, she's here in the office um, today when I'm, I'm doing this recording. But when I think of all that holy, what I call holy sweat, that it takes to step out in faith and say yes to the promptings that are in your heart from God's Spirit, man, I just have to pause and say thank you. Give thanks to God and thanks to you, Crossroads Church, for becoming an answer to many prayers out there in our community and to us specifically in our home. You have no idea what your sacrifices have done to make this community in Seguin a better place to raise a family. There's a whole lot more to do in this area. And God has a dream for this city, and I'm going to do whatever it takes 
by the grace of God to make that dream a reality. Again, none of this would have been possible without your generosity. So we just want to thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts for partnering with us here at Crossroads Church. Even though we've accomplished a whole lot this last year, there's a whole lot more to be done as we continue to press in our call to bring a real God to real people with the message of Christ's love. So thank you again for your support. Thank you for your generosity. And we're going to have a fruitful 2022. God bless.